Good morning from New York. Love the empathetic with ill minded folk. Stand against hateful rain. Yes. But call out their threatening knockers. Vote them all out. That's what we're going to talk about together. I know we they have all the sympathy in the world for us uh, for uh, the terrible tragedy of third inches of the thing. But we have to also recall that a lack of empathy is the hallmark from Republicans. It is. It's also anti democratic. You know, you can try to say sweet things, but if your policies hateful, hurt people, the way the plans of the Republican Party outline 2025, yeah. yeah, blow them out. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you vote Democratic. Mm -hmm. Make sure you vote for Joe Biden. Because the Democrats are perfect. <laughs> no. Is Joe Biden perfect? Is he not an enemy? No. Because the other choice that you have. Is a group of people who spew hate and fear out of both sides of their mouth all day. You know, I don't deficit. I think it's a fact that everybody will be over the top, so almost slightly. We are not for gun control. That's it. That's a lot worse than rhetoric. The rhetoric has to stop. I don't want to see anybody throw me into a prison. I don't believe in that prison system. <laughs> you know, the way it stands today, punishing people, it's not the message of Jesus and it's not mine. It's it's not the message of this change. Hatefulness, no. You put people in prison, it should be revealed to help. And if they're not, we integrate them into society. And do that, well, we don't let them go. You know, it's, but you don't be unkind. When we're unkind, when we do things like the death Oh, it makes us monsters. As a society, it makes us monsters. You know, we, you know, we have to take a look and we have to be reflective. We have to see the monster in themselves. That's our hard, hard view to take. There are things that all of us have done that have hurt other people. Attitudes that we have to learn. That's where reflection comes into play. With reflection, the drama that you experience that comes out of fear, hate, action, and rhetoric. Wow. With reflection, you can have the drama without the drama having you. I don't know how to how to say this any more plainly. The divide of folks bless their hearts. Their drama has been they are lost in the world. They're against democracy. 
they can't accept rational legal action and proper sentences. There need to be disincentives, but the disincentives shouldn't involve our being hanged, making them suffer. Just a matter of uh, thinking of giving them some time now and some help. It's terrible what happened in. But the very party that suffered this needs to recognize that they have been creating this, this hatefulness. Oh, the Jimmy Grades, do you, do you? I mean, yeah, yeah. Line it up, one and the other. What do you see? Big difference. Either side, either side is perfect. But there's a huge difference. Stop making it an equivalent kind of presentation. These are not the same. Listen to the Lincoln Project. Listen. The manga have gone crazy way over the edge. Any other crazy thing in politics? Wow. We can probably do it over time. But we need to stop. Anything that threatens our democracy and our institutions that support that democracy. Dictatorships. But I want a dictator who does everything that I like and I want it want that dictator to do it just as much as I really would love to see happen. No. That's not empathetic. That just that would just be me being really selfish and opposite, out of line with reality. No one person should be guiding everybody else. Democracy is the best thing we can come up with for government. And it's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, do you argue that? But you, you know, it, it's, it's the very worst thing in the world. Except for all the other choices. <laughs> Except for all the other alternatives. <laughs> okay. Don't make a false equivalency in democracy is a lot better. Look at the United States and you look at your Europe, uh, the European Union. Take a look. These are democracies. Look at look at Australia. Look at Japan. Uh, look, at, look at the democracies. People are trying to flood into these countries. If they want to be, if they're not from a democratic country. They want to get out of it. Okay. There's a big difference. Are any of these democracies perfect? No. Are they completely total democracies? That would be uh, the tyranny of the majority over the minority. Founding fathers uh, saw that. So, you know, that's where human rights come into play. That means that the majority should not be allowed to trample on basic human rights. So what are those rights? 
Well, think about it. What helps trade? What helps trade to help everybody, not just a few? Well, first of all, you have to see workers as trading partners, just like any business, just like any business man in our world. The trading partners, are they a cost to business? No more than business is a cost to them. It's a trade. There's cost and there's benefit. It's trade. Pro union here. Guess which party is against unions? You know, pretty much the Republican Party, the whole party. Yeah, they want everything in this country to be run by the super wealthy and, uh, and the wealthy. You know, they want their little part. You know, minor wealth. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, billionaires, they're still greedy. You know, you, you, you really can't have free trade unless there's fair trade. Unless everybody's recognized as a trade. You, you know, a woman with kids, no job. She's a trading partner. She's probably doing the most important job that anybody ever did. She's raising future. He, he, and she should have choice. In nature, it's always the mother who he thinks. For obvious survival reasons, species survival reasons. Women are precious. We have to take care of them. And, uh, they, in turn, also take care of the rest of us. They do more than their lion's share of that thing. Fathers need to help out at all. And she has a job. And it's the most important job of all. Taking care of the health and welfare of our kids. And uh, that would be stay at home, dad. He's doing that too. So. Men can do that. The little baby, it's Sorry, my opinion is that the women are very well at that. The way it really is. Women are amazing if they do as bad as they can. One thing we can do, <laughs> and I'm not going to say this. <laughs> Think about it. Um, you know, so we're talking about rights. Well, the right to choose what happens to your own body. You have that right. Women should have that right. Certain people want to take that right away. They want to uh, prefer a fetus over the mother. If a pizza baby, no, it's not. It's on its way to be. A lot of things that are on their way in this reproductive uh, deal. Never make it. God would be the most prolific abortionist of all time. Because most of the time, when the two parts meet together, the body says, yes, you don't pass. How it goes, you know, kind of hit and miss, ain't it? You know, mommy Python, we find it like that. 
have a little idea of the potential of a human being, um, you know, every uh, is in sacred. Another man in five months, and you what I'm talking about here. First, we need to learn one. It has words in it that I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. It's not appropriate. Um, but uh, yeah. The right to choose. You want to take that away from me? You really got to do that. Do you dare even position your mouth to say, Oh, only in the event of the threat to the mother. What? You're going to make it, make sure, wait until she's almost dead? She may die before you perform an abortion. And then maybe she won't have any ability to have a kid after that ever again. That is happening. So, your doctor can threat the game that We're saving that mother's life, you know, perhaps. Okay. Probably doing it before she's uh, almost certain to die. Would that were you? Would you want someone to wait until you can almost certainly going to die? Yeah, it's just that's nonsense. We all know that's nonsense. You know, somebody has to make that difficult decision and point out the mother and the doctor. Hmm? What about that? Sometimes you let people make their own decisions. Especially about their own body. Yeah, it should be an informed decision. <laughs> big believer in doctors here. Yeah. Not a big believer in Dr. Google. But uh, also health care, she's a right. That's a right. And uh, we, the Democrats have been fighting for me to have that right. And they're making progress, in spite of the other side trying to do everything they can to stop them. Uh, the right for kids to be free of having to do dangerous, harmful work. You know, kids should be in school, not working. Yeah. It's nothing, nothing wrong with the little job and then they are not saying they're kidding. You know, they need to you learn what life is about. So three year olds might try to pick up a broom and say, okay. But uh, we used to have child labor. It was the progressives who stopped put our kids in school the best of it so that they can thrive in a wonderful life. Not lose the will thing to think. That was happening. You want to endanger our, let's say, the, the rights. It's our right to be peaceably ascended. But you always got to remember every other person. It's all right to peaceably ascend. It's not all right to violently ascend. What did Trump do? 
when that violent assemblage is attacking our cattle. Okay. He wanted uh, wanted to be there. He did he call now? Did he say, hey, this is wrong? He shouldn't be trying to hang my vice president. Hence is it gonna go for Trump? I guarantee you. Not if he has an eye and have six. You know, this is this is this is just yeah, all the love in the world. But basic human rights. Right to unionize is another one. Right to or, or trading partners who organize together. Business is doing all of it. The great cost to workers. Workers should be able to do the same thing. We have a right to have a decent life and a real shot at uh, becoming a person who has a lot to offer. Why isn't that in the interest of everything? Of course it is. But when we're trying to avoid the predator, it shouldn't mean we're avoiding the person. Okay. Hate mongering chief. Oh, that's horrible. No, no, it's not. It's the truth. It's the guy that yeah. as a person, we have to love. You have to love. He's got kids, but he's sick. He's, he's a power monger, greedy, and he cheats in business and he rapes women. Okay, he said, you know, spiritually, mentally, ill. and physically, he's not in that great shape, by the way. And, He's what, two or three years younger than Trump is two or three years younger than Joe. Come on, lay off the old age nonsense. They're both old. And one lies. Was it 28 lies? Tell me in the comments. Wasn't it 28 lies that uh, Trump told? Verified lies. In a debate, you think in a debate they would call out either side as soon as they lie. You know, against which side didn't want that to happen. Yeah, you were buddies in the Trump Republican Party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yes, let's not stir up fear and pain. Let's be compassionate. But we have to fight for democracy. We can't allow it to be taken over for any reasons. Because that kills. It harms real human beings. It's a kill for definitely. You don't have democracy. You've got a dictator. It's off with their heads. Trust me. You don't want to get somebody upset in China. 
given. Now, try talking democracy in China. There was only, there was only one political party. It's kind of funny that, 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 that our, our, our country is uh, verging onto a dictatorship. When the parliamentary systems don't seem to be doing it right now. They did in the past. They did it with him. That was under you know, the strain of circumstance. It stressed people out to bring out the worst. Try not to overstress people. But um, the stretch comes in a lot of ways, and some of the ways are good. I mean, standing up for democracy is a stress for people to stand. Calling out people who are against democracy is something we can all benefit from. And the alternative to that is a lot worse. Monarchy. Is that what we want? It seems Margo people don't mind. They've even said, We are the Christian Taliban. Huh? We, we've seen how it is for any kind of religion, including the common religion. You know, what happens when that takes over the gun? It is not a good thing. Never is. So, you know, let's 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 just pause and think and do tell the purpose. Sometimes truth hurts. But that's okay. That's not telling someone if they should be damaged or, you know, it's no be notable that uh, in his rallies, Trump said, you go along the little black and my day, that person be called, called out on a stretcher. Yeah? Do you want to put that guy back in office? Wake up, America. The whole world is looking at us marveling that we can fall in so low. Trying to stand up, show the world. No, we're not going that way. We're going to keep being a beacon of light. All right, strong words. Tough love. And that's part of the thing. Yes, you mean. Because everything is love. And uh, the use of love combined with creativity, objectivity, and compassion is the way the real truth in our world. Empty and awareness point this challenge. Do you agree? You're on the team. Let us know. Subscribe. Comment, share a video you agree with. I share a lot of yours. I know who you are. I know who you are out there on this team. I may not have money to give you, but I share your video. I subscribe to you. So, can you do me the same thing? Anyway. I think this is you, Nick Nelson.
I would like to expand it. And uh, I would like to, uh, of course, be able to continue. Just like Jim. I'm going to keep going. And anybody should be allowed to. As long as they're in. And Joe is very big. He's a great speaker. He never was. Gaps. He's he, he's always taking gaps. You know, in every sense. He began to give his career. But get things done for you. Well, it's Joe. Pay attention. And where he hasn't gotten it done, people are in his way. Guess who? The crazy folks that have invaded the Republican Party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're getting in the way. He had a bipartisan bill to deal with the border. Trump killed him. It's going to be all these people, all these Trump Republican allies, vote against it. Really? My God. You know, and during that period of time, you know, we hear a, oh, it seems so bad. The reason we got to like Trump, he stopped that fentanyl coming across the border. Well, guess what's happening now? Because this narcissistic man did not want that bipartisan bill to pass. So a ton more traffic now coming in because Trump's actions. So he wants to talk about the border, does he? We'll talk about the border with you any day of the week. You're not good for the border and you're not good for this country, Colonel. We love you. I wish you healing. I'm in an enlightened uh, facility that uh, tries to help me return me to some kind of sanity. Yeah, that's great. I'm really into that. We all, at some point, need to uh, make a change. Find a greater, more healthier, caring, loving trade in our lives. I advise that for Trump and for followers and his family. That is one precious kid they think of me. Terrific child. That doesn't mean his daddy should be elected. So. Mm -hmm. No. It's a terrific kid. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta love that kid. Trilingual. Mm -hmm. Smart kid. And I think a democratically run country would be the best thing for him. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think. Sometimes the truth is really hard and stick with it. And it's uh, complicated. But one clear choice we have in this coming election that's Joe Biden and the Democrats. We have to teach would be dictatorship oriented MAGA Republicans if they don't have the right to take over one of our parties and they don't have the right to be the government not our democracy not on our watch 
Calm down. Hey, Busty Margaret, calm down and consider all sides. Try to argue both sides of an argument. Do some reflection. And if you're healthy enough, you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to realize that you should be back. Anyway, I like to give a blessing because I already gave a No matter who you are. No, we need to be disproven. Even if I think you are empathetically, you still are. I love Trump, I love the family, I love every MAGA person, and uh, every far left and far right who's <laughs> And they have a lot of disagreements. <laughs> it, uh, some of the extremes, but you know, we all have our opinions. And mine might be wrong. So, it's still. I do love you. Here's the Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be already at your time. May the sun shine. Warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you when you fall on his hand, or her hand, or its hand, however you see it, it's a worse of all. And, uh, I will leave you with uh, two thoughts. And uh, the first one is from the great physicist Carlson. We are the universe that makes up. Be lost in the wonder that makes us all alive. Work on it. Enjoy it, appreciate the wonder that every human being is. We're part of it. Nature is under the great hope. We'll see each other with a little bit of hope. A lot of time. And what I've got to say is that I love the other. Uh, I love that thought, which is expressed in buying hello and eating. Hello and goodbye in India, it's namaste. It means my purple sins. Think about it. Namaste. You know, you can make a great day today. You know, you can make things better. Join the ticket.